me all. Come on. Keep walking, hippie. You dick. Samuel, no. Ah, screw it. I just did a valve thing. Hey, maybe we could electrocute them to death. Yeah, that'd be nice. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. How do I use it? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out, but I don't understand. Hey, yo, Max. What the hell do you want from me? What do you want? There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. <gasps> I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Ah. Okay, let's see if this works. What I do? Wait, what did I even do? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Wait, what do we do? We, uh, what? What if you do hurt him? Poor Samuel, he might be creepy, but he doesn't deserve to break his back. Come on. Alright, let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, that's what Close, we did. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Th thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're, welcome. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. What do we do? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. None shall pass. Tapish? Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Yeah. What do you fur? understand English? Get lost. What if we're right underneath it? Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Oh, I know, move the ladder. Okay, let's see if this works. What do we do? We didn't do much. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. No oh, screw you, just shut up. So irritating. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Alright. Come on, come on. Get a move on. Yeah. yeah. So, um, let me think. Keep walking, hippie. Victoria is not getting the hint. Yeah, she sucks. What did we do that was different? Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. I need to, like, somehow move this thing. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Maybe we could do something with the- oh. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Oh. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. I'll tamper with it, and then... Okay, let's see if this works. Alright, let's hurry up, run. Alright, alright, okay, I see. There we 
go. Oh, <laughs> you're about to learn. No way! No way! <gasps> you okay, Victoria? Oh, Sandy, I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Wow. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah, bitches. Awesome. You're gonna get the boo. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Make fun of. <laughs> Let's come for her. Maybe she'll do better for us. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> You're welcome. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. No. That was mean, but pretty funny. Yeah. It's one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Yeah. Arifa. Well, see, I was gonna make fun Victoria of her. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. No, it just wants me to like try. It. It's just trying to make me think twice about changing my choice. See, so the I could uh okay. So it's better to make friends than to make enemies. See there, because if I would have made fun of her. I, I would have made this a whole lot worse. I would have made our like relationship. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. So you know, um, Juliet, extreme reporter. As if. <laughs> is this a vortex club or a Victoria club initiation? HIV. Ah, I don't give a crap. So, anyways, um, yeah. Oh. Welcome to Black Hill. Black Hill or Blackwell? Where's mine? So again, Max, two nineteen. All right, this is two seventy. Oh, it's right here. Oh no, it's not. Where's two nineteen? Showers is open. Okay, so in parent. So yeah, it's better to make enemy. It's better to make. <laughs> It's better to make friends than it is to make enemies. At least that's an alarm from this century. Yeah, it's much better because then we, you know, we won't be able to, you know, be a potato. Max is, um, yeah. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. We'll bang for Jesus? Yeah, we'll bang for Jesus. Peace. Heck yeah. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Be the change you wish to see, Gandhi. God dang. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. 3.14 equals pi. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's pretty, pretty clever, I guess. How sad. I didn't write anything. Let's write I have something. nothing to say. Well, let's write something. I'm a potato head. Max. Oh. Obvious, but true. Yeah, I guess. Why not? Alright, let's enter. Oh, cool. We have a guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. Ahoy. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. 
<laughs> Rip. Oh. Hi, honey. Your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behavior. Uh, that you're not fitting in well and hiding in your own dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home, even if you are all grown up now, but you are there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon to chat with. We miss you. XXOO. It's actually XOX. XOXO. God dang it. Let's have a little bit of lie down. There we go. That's it. That's it. Oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Edgar Allan Poe. I don't want to fall asleep. Hello, guitar. Oh, hell yeah, we can play. <gasps> Cookies. Oh, cool. Look. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. I yeah. The cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Yeah. Alright, I'll be back. I'll play the guitar next. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I yep. like my wardrobe. Yeah, you don't really need... I, I admire girls who, are, who aren't as dependent on short clothing and, um, and makeup. I admire that. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Let's do it. Heck yes. Oh. <laughs> I woke up in the morning and I had a sore throat and it hurt so bad I started to cough Oh, a cough drop would be good at this moment I want a cough drop. I want a cough drop. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> uh, we'll do more of that later. Oh, what's this? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Ray Bradbury, hell yeah. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Yeah. Hey look, new photo. Put it on the wall. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Memorial? Why turn off? So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day mom and I sewed that together. Aw, you sold that? Uh, it looks like a nice pillow. Let's find some <sighs> weed. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Um. Uh... I'm gonna assume you're the one with the right, on the right, cause you have like freckles. Oh, you look different. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. High five, let's play it. Uh. 
That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Huh. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. All right, let's get some inspiration. Philip Walker out of life. my man. My I don't man. think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I really like your um. I really like Max's uh. uh passion for this uh photo stuff one day i'll organize my film collection one day i'll get an actual hd tv one day if i'm not looking through a viewfinder i'm looking through a window always looking always what the hell is that is that by underwear come on max what if boys come in here Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl. Hey girl, I borrowed your draft so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need a bag, just track me down in my room. Oh, Great. she... Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Yep. Daniel hey. has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Oh, don't be like I that. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Huh. <sighs> Very sleepy here. Uh, Max, thanks for the email copy of Jefferson's, Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop messaging of gratitude. I also have a rather electric collector of TV called Classic and fucked up films on the fat flash drive. If you ever want to check them out, thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now you can explain to me how a camera works. We sing you Warren G. Huh. Seems legit. Alright, let's go get that flash drive. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. <laughs> worst baby mama. Oh, can we actually like save it or stuff like that? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? What's this? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max, to Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic life altering controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I, co I congratulate you on yourself and is eagerly await you in depth reviews of Cannibal Cannibal Holocaust and uh, Ultra Vaccine. Peace, Warren G. Nice. Let's uh, read us. Let's read something. Okay, so that wasn't fun. Okay, 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 good. Uh, September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. Ac both to prove I am not a total loser. I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across a kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of an he does kind of know it all a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the cliche actions. Here I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I got to research famous photographers for some of my homework. 
Mr. Jefferson assigned us to a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be a too hip, just says like what he thinks and expects, expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking, this fun class is worth all the social dysfunction. Alright, which one should we read? We already read Victoria, let's read Nathan. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he is one of the one who triggered the crazy rewind, rewind power by shooting the girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary fucking prick. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I'm, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places. As his family, his last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell, his money is against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control. Like he's doped up over medicated or over medicated. On the other hand, he's an asshole who nobody has called out and he almost killed, did kill a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? What do I say about my rewind power? Like I'd say anything, I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. Typical school, wait, they're not typical school days. Alright, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go find that girl. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Hey. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. What are you doing? Let me out, Julian. Dana's so so still a cheerleader at heart. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Oh, okay. If you don't let me out, I will scream. What did she do? Yeah. What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Bitch. Julie Mason. Julie Olsen. Julie Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Oh, of I got it right. I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. <sighs> According to Victoria, huh? She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Hey. Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Let's go to. Here, I think we'll be able to find out where she's at. Welcome to Black Hell. Black Hell. Okay, good. Good. Oh, sweet, Julie, Juliet Watson. All right, let's look at the names on here. All right, Victoria Chase is 221. Let's go find her number. Oh, but they were snooping around Victoria's room. And we just made, like, we're, we just got into good terms with her. Oh, God. We just got on good terms with her. Ouch. At least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Mrs. Chase, thank you for the submission to Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future at Devers. Aww. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. <laughs> Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. 
Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. International Photography Mark Jefferson Local Exhibit Chin No. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Jeez, that's uh, I don't trust this. Speaking of selfies. <gasps> Smess up, should we do it? Yeah. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here, and this one there. Oh, you're evil. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. <laughs>